Welcome to Carl August. This item has a rating of 5.0 out of 5 stars. A customer wrote, A lot of people, my good friend included, love the Joe of old and insist his best music came during his first 5 to 6 albums. This early Joe had a more gritty, heavy, soulful, and organic sound about him. It really was just very straightforward music where Joe went to town on his guitar, my friend likes to point out about his early albums, and number 34, he played his guitar with absolute fury and number 34. Joe's second half of his career has seen a lot more albums that are much more polished, and the compositions and arrangements seem to be much more complex. The musicians he has now surrounded himself with can play note for note right along with Joe. And a lot of people like the more restrained, polished Joe better than the early and number 34, rocking Joe and number 34. Now I personally agree there is two distinct Bonamassa styles, his early stuff, and his modern stuff, like many people claim, but I have really enjoyed both versions. However, what I have really been waiting for is a fusion of both styles into one album. Why can't we have all the great things about Joe's old albums and combine it with all the great things about Joe's modern albums? Well finally my wait has ended, because Blues of Desperation is the best of everything Joe has ever done. The N number 34, Fury N number 34, is back in the guitar, Joe is absolutely on fire with his solos, and his vocal tone is noticeably more gritty and aggressive. Some of these songs are as heavy as his early stuff if not even more heavy, there are some real rockers on this album. However, the complexity and depth of the songs are just as strong as anything he has done recently, and we are left with 11 polished songs. For me, and I suspect many will agree, this is absolutely the most complete Bonamassa album to date. The old and new collide into one killer album. Thank you for watching. Please give the thumbs up.